The question is, is anyone in the real world with the real economy making any money doing this? And so you look at something like OpenAI, they're like, oh, we're going to spend $40 billion with Amazon and all sorts of other things that they're doing. And they talk about a trillion dollars of investment. Um, and you're like, okay, so what's your revenue? And they're like, $10 billion a year. Okay, what's your profit? Well, we're losing, you know, tens of billions of dollars a year. It's like, okay, well, like that is a terrible deal, <laughs> right? I mean, trillion dollars is what they've talked about. And I'm going to lose tens of billions of dollars. Like, is that a good deal? No, that's a terrible deal. And that is, you know, OpenAI, I think, is one of the more extreme ones in terms of lighting money on fire. Um, and Microsoft, of course, being connected to it. But then you even see something very plain vanilla like Meta, which you know, has seen a modest bump in its advertising revenue of maybe a few billion dollars on an annual basis, but they're spending $70 billion in AI-related CapEx. Those two things don't work. You can't spend $70 billion a year in AI CapEx on something that's depreciating on a five-year time frame and only make a few billion dollars more. That is a terrible ROI for that business. And that's, you know, that, that's just the... And I don't like Meta in specific because all of their revenue is real economy revenue and advertising, right? I think it's such a good example of how is AI beneficial? Is it game changing? Probably not, at least in any time frame that we care about as investors. And is it worth all this investment? Almost certainly not when you look at the numbers.